Hello everyone, this is Brand Education. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to submit your final project if you've taken the CS50's introduction to programming with Python. I've already submitted my final project and got it all graded and checked properly. I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. Stay. Okay, as you can see here, the Introduction to Programming with Python, final project mentions are here. The minimum requirements are all put here. You can go through them very easily, but I'm just going to kind of make a bit of a point here. Now, the first is your project must be implemented in Python. Technically, of course, if you've learned or if you've taken the programming with Python, you go to the project that's implemented in Python. No, any other. Now, your project must have main function. It's a main function. Uh, we have to define that main function and three or more additional function. At least three of those additional functions must be accompanied by tests that can be executed with PyTests. Now, the project must have a main function. What, what this, as we know, we use the main function when we've got different functions and we call those other functions in the main function. So, the minimum requirement for this is you've got to have three more custom functions. You've got to have at least three custom functions other than the main. So technically, if you want to meet the minimum requirements, you've got to have four functions. The first is the main function. The other three are the custom functions that you've created for you. Okay, now your PyTest as well, this is used to test your program. We'll, we'll look at it more later on. So your main function must be in a file called project.pi. Now what this says is, I'll take you to my code here and show you what it looks like now this is the main function my main function of course I've got a bit of a code here and then of course my custom function this is the custom function my first custom function this is the second custom function third custom function fourth and fifth custom function so i i technically go over the minimum requirements by two more two more custom functions so i have five custom functions technically okay now this is the main function, I've got other my custom functions as well. So what this says is in your project folder here, in your project folder, you need to have project.py, which is the project.python name, file name. That says here, your main function must be in a file called project.py. So your Python file name should be project.py, which should be in the root top level. Folder of your project, let's say. So the folder is here project name or the Python project name is project I that's what it says yeah now you your three required custom functions are the main must be also in the project .pi. the code must be put in, in the project .pi. that's what it says it tries to mention all of them they should all be put in this project .pi code now your test functions must so sorry there is one point here, which is defined at the same interface level as main now your custom functions they have to be in the same indentation level so this is what it says the same indentation level with the main is go to our main here custom function here so technically the same indentation level so if you use the class here the indentation can be quite, quite the same so you can see here for example if i say the class class and just name it student here for example and did technically this and your indentation can be the same so Technically, at least three functions, your custom functions, they need to be in the same indentation level. Then after that, we can use other advanced developments you can implement here. Now, the next is your test function must be in a file called testproject.pi. So technically here, it is testproject.pi. If you, we're going to write, of course, you're going to write a test code for your main project or main code so you've got to name that test code name that you've got to have name it uh, like this it's test project dot pi uh, and they must be prepended with test custom functions now what do it say is so i will take you to my test code here you need to use the proper naming which is test and then underscore and then your custom function name test underscore your custom function name for example my custom function name is the first is questions so i put it test underscore questions there you go that's how 
you've got to put a test on the underscore update underscore score so technically what they say is you've got to name your custom functions you test code custom functions using the test prepended with your custom function name okay now you can implement additional classes and functions to make your code more advanced and good looking you can do that but the minimum requirements are these main function list three custom functions test functions that will test your main code and then that's it you're okay with that now implementing the project should entail more time and then that is required by each of so technically any pip installable library site project wise must be listed one per line in five requirements xd the root project now what this is is requirements.txt you've got to prepare this you can create a file name requirements.txt and you've got to write all of the library modules you imported in your program you can you're going to write them like this one per line so we've got the tabulate library for me pyfiglet library print library so these are three libraries that i use so i just put them in one line per line so that's how it goes now that is it now we've got the deadline here 2025 i think anyone can do it it's like a year probably not a year but nearly a year from now okay now uh if you are looking for a professional certificate definitely have to go ahead with, with uh these kind of sort of things you've got to complete all of the three steps that you look at here which is you've got to create a short video that's not more than three minutes in length in which you in which you present your products the world this is uh technically brief steps that you can take for you to complete and submit your your code and your programs uh as you'll be put in, in in a gallery later on so you've got two of your project title your name your github and dx username you're sitting country in the data you record this video i have posted my video on this you can go ahead and check that where i've done all of the steps that's the first step you've got to create a short video not more than three minutes but technically i did go over three minutes it was like three minutes and uh about 20 minutes 20 seconds about don't exactly remember in on this year and then you should go on and demonstrate the project in action slide screenshot voice of a live action it says live action sorry okay now so you're gonna record your screen your computer screen computer and then in, technically you're going to show your code or your code each step one by one you're gonna run it there and show the world how it works i've already kind of uploaded so I'm going to check this now we're going to submit this form which is uh i think i've done it already don't know if i'm going to get the access to do it again i've got to submit this form which is the final form to get your professional certificate now this form is you write your email your name your dx username your github username and then your city state country uh recall that per you need to submit short video then you're going to put your youtube url here your youtube url is going to be put here you're going to put your youtube url here you're going to say can you display your name technically if you don't want you can go in click on no please don't do my or start your project going to put your title here describe your project in one phrase or one sentence uh, and then you're going to write uh if you're collaborated with one or two of your class classmates you're going to provide a github username here uh let's go about it what do you think of cs50 cs50 did you use and then we've got the communities saw of these and others as well and you submit it right at these hopefully we're done here now after we submit these forms the second step is we're going to create a readme.md file and then we're going to put it in the project folder that explains your project this file should include your project title the url of your video and description of your project so technically i'm going to show you my readme file here so I've got the project title here. I've got the video, YouTube videos, real or any other website video URL that you've posted in. You're going to write the URL here. And I've got the description of the program here. I've got the modules and functions used, the module imports, functions used here, the questions function, the choose answer function, update score function, exit score function, the print welcome message function, and that after try and accept error. So I've written this readme code very easily. Uh, technically, 
this readme should be put in your project folder so you can see all of my properly written files including the python code is put in one folder and one by one you can go ahead and check whether you've put them all together and now if you are unfamiliar you can go ahead and uh, check this website if you want to write it properly the markdown syntax and everything else i did you start to write my code there as well now uh what is here in yellow is your readme file should be minimally multi paragraphs length so a lot of things are here but in in the neighborhood of 500 words likely to be sufficient for describing your project in all respects of your functionality its functionality if you're unable to reach that threshold that means but insufficiently complex now now my words were like 700 which is a very good number there but you can use even less than 500 words it is it's going to uh manifest that your code isn't quite really complex but just adding some jargon words would do that much of a matter but just to meet the minimum requirements go ahead and write words that you can use here like 500 words and how you can do that is you can go ahead and write count words and you can get a word counter here which technically does the word counting for you now technically this is what it does so it's like 767 words minus 767 words there put all together and uh, if you have been working through all of these course introduction to programming with Python, you are familiar with these. So it's technically what you do to submit your code. Now, after you've done all of these, after you've posted your video, after you've written your readme, readme and everything else, you can go ahead and run this code in your terminal here, in your terminal, after going to your directory where the code is and then you just have to write this code here and voila just like Dev Melon, yeah got the code running here properly that's how you submit your final project technically that's what i did and you get your certifications not less than within a few minutes technically you can get it that and if you want to get it a verified one you can go ahead and kind of make the adjustments and get the verified certificate from ADX if you've completed all of the other assignments. Now uh, that's it for this video. Hope to see you in my next, in my next video. If you've got any questions, you can go ahead and just write them down below in the, in the comments. Peace is grown education.